This is in continuation to the previous session on ST of Portland cement and raw material used in manufacturing of Portland cement. In the current session, let's learn about cement manufacturing process. First, let's see the raw material proportion analysis and then cement manufacturing process. We know that the major raw material for manufacturing of Portland cement is calcareous material that is limestone and argillaceous material that is mainly the clay based material. If the clay is not available, bauxite, iron ore, laterite or sandstone are used in the manufacturing of Portland cement. To decide the right proportion of this raw material, first we need to do the chemical analysis of this raw material. Let me take you to the one example. Let's go one by one the calcareous material. In this table, the chemical analysis of three type of limestone which is high grade, low grade and mall has been highlighted. If you look at the calcium oxide content, of course the high grade limestone contains more than 50 percentage. The low grade has 42 percentage and mall varies from 27 to 39 percentage. If you look at that, all this limestone has some amount of other oxide that is silica and alumina. The major is silica oxide. Low grade limestone has high amount of silica as compared to the high grade limestone. Of course, the mall has a very high amount of silica content. I would like to recall from my previous session that I had mentioned for manufacturing of Portland cement in addition to limestone we also need aggleaceous material that is clay material which essentially contain silica, alumina and iron components. So for example this table shows four type of clay material which has high amount of silica which is more than 50 to 60 percentage and certain amount of alumina also. Depending on the chemical composition of the limestone, one can choose either this type of clay which is depends on the availability of this clay material near to the cement manufacturing unit or we can choose other corrective material like bauxite which essentially contains high amount of alumina component or laterite which is having high amount of iron component or slag or iron ore or sandstone or overburdened soil. Depends on the deficiency in the limestone chemical composition, this corrective material's proportion is decided. However, there are various criteria is being followed in the selection of raw material. Basically the physical criteria that is nothing but how the raw material can be easily crushed, grind for neutralization of clinker that means with less amount of energy. Next the compositional criteria that means what are the chemical composition and mineralogical composition of the raw material which are the desirable elements required to produce a good quality of clinker. Next thermal criteria which is nothing but the how much fuel and what type of fuel required for producing a good quality of clinker and how much temperature it will give to get a good quality of clinker at high temperature. There is also some quality control parameters being followed in the manufacturing of clinker that is lime saturation factor that is the ideal range for lime saturation factor is 0.66 to 1.02 and silica modulus which should be in the ideal range of 1.9 to 3.2 and alumina modulus. This alumina modulus also should be in the range of 1.5 to 2.5. These are the three major parameters which is being used to control the quality of raw material and quality of clinker. Next, let's see the type of cement manufacturing process. Depending on the chemical composition of raw material and the moisture content in the raw material, the type of cement manufacturing process is decided which is wet process or dry process. If the raw material has more than 15 percentage moisture content obviously the wet process has been preferred. In this wet process the raw material is ground along with the water to form a slurry and this slurry is fed into the kiln. Generally in wet process the kiln size is very longer in size and because it contains high amount of moisture it requires higher power. Also in this process since the material is ground along with the water the blending is easier hence the, all the raw materials are mixed homogeneously. The quality of clinker is very good. 
Next, if the moisture content is less than 8 percentage, then dry process is not followed. And in this dry process, the fuel consumption is less because it contains very less amount of moisture. And most of the modern plants in India all across the world, the dry process is used because it consumes less fuel. In this dry process, the preheater and pre calcium are also used to save the fuel consumption and also to get higher production capacity. Next, let's see the process flow in cement manufacturing process that is a sequence of operation first the raw material is quarried from the mines and after that it goes to the crushing section where the limestone is crushed to the smaller particles after that it is stored and it is pre-blended before it is going to the grinding section in the grinding section the limestone and other raw materials are ground to very fine powder after that it goes to the silo where this raw material proportions are mixed and homogenized this pre-proportioned material from the raw mix silo it goes to the preheater where from the bottom of preheater the fuel is been passed so that the moisture in the raw materials are removed and then from the preheater the raw mix goes to the pre-calciner where the pre-carbonization of limestone takes place and then it goes to the rotary clean. In the rotary clean the final high temperature reaction takes place and finally we get the clinker. This clinker is cooled immediately in the out of the kiln to get the required reactive clinker composition. From the cooler it goes to the cement storing silo. From the cement silo after some time it passed to the clinker grinding section where in the grinding section clinker along with the gypsum is ground and then finally to get the cement. This ground cement is stored in the silo and from this silo it is packed as either cement bags or it can be dispatched through the bulker from the packing unit. Thank you all. Let's meet in another session.